Hello. Um, I wanted to tell you a little story about a little miracle that happened to me one time. And it's a miracle that um, I keep thinking about because I need it as a reminder. And this was, um, it's about this. This is a TSA lock. And a TSA lock is um, a pad, well, in my case, yeah, it's a combination lock that you use for your luggage, when, especially when you're flying, and it has a special way that TSA security can open it. Um, because if they can't open it, they're going to just cut open your bags because they want to check them, right? So in this case, you can lock it from bad guys, but the TSA security guards can open it when they need to. So it's a really handy tool. Well, um, I was in Uganda and I lost mine and I wanted to get a new one. And this was in, um, you know, this was during my first trip to Africa. So I didn't actually live there yet. I was still, um, you know, I had only been there for a couple months and was traveling. And I lost my lock. I wanted a new one. I looked all over Uganda. I couldn't find one. Um, because it's really kind of an American thing or maybe European, but in these countries you don't really need it. It's for flying. Okay, so um, then I went to Kenya and I you know, Kenya's more developed than Uganda, and so, um, and people told me you'll definitely be able to find a lock at Nakamut, which is, used to be the, the biggest grocery store chain in Kenya, and, um, so I went there. I was in Kisumu, and I was stressed out, um, things weren't going my way, and I actually was staying at a hotel that, on TripAdvisor, people said that people broke into their rooms and stole stuff, like the staff broke into the rooms. And I was really nervous about that, but, you know, I didn't know Kisumu. I didn't know what I should do to find a different hotel. This one was um, in a good location, and it seemed okay. Well. Long story short, no one's no one stole anything from me. However, I went to Nakamat to get this lock, and I had to travel about 20 minutes to go get the lock. And I was happy I found one for about $15. And um, I get back to my hotel room and I'm setting it. There's instructions in the package on how to set it to the combination that you want. Well, I was sitting on the bed and I was doing it, but I made a mistake, and somehow I set the combination to something, and then I moved all the, I moved the characters so that it was not no longer on the combination, and then locked it. It's like the stupidest thing you can do, but I did it, and so I, um, then I had a locked lock, brand new, didn't know the combination. And there's no way to set the combination unless it's open, which makes sense because you wouldn't want bad guys to go around setting it. So um, I was like, oh my gosh, I just ruined my lock. And I went back to Nekamut, 20 minutes there. Um, they said, we can't return it because you ruined it. You know, It's very hard to return things in Kenya. Uh, unlike America, you can return anything and everything, it seems like now, which I appreciate. But they wouldn't take this back, so I, you know, went back to the hotel room another 20 minutes, dejected, thinking, okay, what am I going to do? I really blew it out of proportion. It's $15, but I was on a very strict budget. I'm always on a strict budget because I don't really get a salary. I'm I, I just do this out of the kindness of my heart and then people donate towards me. That's how I survive. So I, I didn't want to just 
hand over another fifteen dollars. So I um, googled what can I do to to fix a lock in this situation, and they said try every single combination, and then you'll find the combination and you can unlock it. Well, so this is I've um, got three dials and ten digits for each dial. So <clears throat> I don't know what that how to do that math. I tried to Google it and I couldn't figure it out. I think it might be 10 times 9 times 8, which means 720 combinations. And 720 possible combinations that I needed to do to try to find this one, right? So I got to work. I had a piece of paper and a pen and I spent five hours going through these, every little one, writing down the different um, you know, things that I had gotten through. You know, I would twist, 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 and then pull every time. Okay, twist another one, pull, twist another one, pull, twist another one, pull, and then mark, okay, you know, all the ones that start with seven, you've tried it, it's not going to work. Okay, so I got through every single possible combination and it did not unlock. So that means that somehow I missed it. I missed, I either didn't have it lined up right or I didn't pull it right and I missed the one that it was. And I was very broken hearted. I was already stressed out in the beginning and now I failed. Five hours of work, nothing. I'm going to have to do it again. And that really stressed me out. And I'm just sitting on the hotel bed again and I'm thinking, okay, like, um, God, help me. I, I need this lock to work, and, um, you know, I'm just going to put it at a random thing, and I pray that you open it for me. And I just put it at a random thing, and just pull. And it opened. <laughs> it opened. My very first, like, try, random try, worked. And all of the ones that were very mathematical and logical ones that I tried to make work didn't work. And I think there's a bigger message in there and, uh, you know, about applying that to my life. But what I, the message that I take from it now is God's going to take care of me. And... You know, it was such a small thing that I got so worked up about, but um, God has the power to fix these things. And, you know, I do believe that before I did all the tries, I also prayed and randomly tried it. I'm not sure if I did. I feel like I would have done that. But um, he helped me. He helped me unlock this this $15 thing, that I could have went and got another one. But the $15 wouldn't have killed me. Um, and, you know, it's just like, he's going to take care of me. I don't need to get all bent out of shape. And so I still remember this lock. In fact, I have it hanging in my bedroom in Kenya. And I use it when I'm traveling. And, um... It's like, he's going to take care of me. Everything's okay. Let him do it. Um, you know, chill out and let him do it. And so that's, um, you know, I don't, I don't think it's saying... Or, and I'm certainly not saying, let God do everything and you can just sit back and lay down on the couch and expect amazing things to happen in your life. That's not how I believe. I believe we do our part and God does his part. But I didn't have to get bent out of shape, you know, about it. He's there for me. He's there for you. He'll take care of us. Relax. Do what you can do. And God will... God will be there. So, that's my little story, and maybe you can think about that. Um, what are some ways that God has 
has shown up in your life? What are some miracles that he's done for you? Um, I would love to hear that. So you can put it in the comments or tell me about it if you see me, but love to hear about it. Thanks.